we have a Maxwell disk and the thread is wound on an XL of radius R. So this radius is small r. When the disk unwinds, the bar is raised to keep the disk at the same height. So this thread is pulled up such that this disk remains at the same height. So because when we are pulling the thread, it will increase the tension and that increased tension will keep the disk at rest. Not at rest, it will still be rotating with angular acceleration, but its uh, net acceleration of the disk will be zero. We need to find the tension of each thread and acceleration of the bar. Tension of each thread. So let's say the tension is T and T each. So net tension will be 2T. And because the disk is uh, not accelerating, the net forces must be zero. So 2T should be equal to mg, which means T is equal to mg by two. So that is the answer of tension. Now we need to find the calcul calculate the acceleration of the bar. So that is same as acceleration of this point P. That is the acceleration of thread. So the thread is moving up with an acceleration AP, which we want to know. And because the disc is at rest and it's rotating with angular acceleration alpha, so you can see that about the center O, this point is moving up with acceleration alpha times small r. And that will be the acceleration of point P. That will be the acceleration of bar. So AP is equal to alpha r. We need to find AP. Now r is given, alpha we don't know. So for that, we are again going to use the torque on the disc. So that will give us alpha. So about O, torque will be I alpha is equal to 2T into R. And we have seen 2T is equal to mg. So this gives alpha is equal to mg R by I. So we'll put that value here and get our answer. All right.